Hello and welcome to my shop. I've been asked to create a video on the tool holders of the Teal Duplex 158 milling machine and I gladly satisfy this request. This video is mostly related to this specific machine. So here we go. Both the vertical and the horizontal spindle of the Teal Duplex 158 use short number 5 Morse taper tool holders with a drawbar. Incidentally, the same tool holders match my torsor lathe and the Volta UTA200 dividing head. The teal uses a shortened version of the standard Morse Taper 5. A regular long MT5 would not fit. Apart from the overall length, the geometry is identical to a standard MT5. Tool holders are retained in the spindle by means of a drawbar. The thread is an ECMA thread, 31 mm, 18 TPI, the third 29 degrees thread angle. The tool holders are removed from the spindle by a withdrawal nut. Fortunately my milling machine came with an almost complete set of tool holders. Let me start with the OZ25 collet chuck. This is a quite versatile device holding straight shank milling cutters. The range is from 2 mm to 25 mm. In addition, there are reducing sleeves for numbers 2, 3 and 4 Morse tapers with pull stud bolts. The stud bolt is retained in the tool holder by a M22 by 1.5 left hand threaded sleeve. The pull stud bolt matches the female thread of the tool. They are regular metric threads M16 by 20 for MT4, M12 by 1.75 for MT3, and M10 by 1.5 for the MT2 sleeve. Various tools or tool holders with more taper shanks can be attached. There is also a more taper 1 to more taper 4 reduction sleeve. Horizontal milling arbors are attached in the same way. The inner pull stud bolts are driven by a socket wrench matching the 12 by 12 mm square head of the bolt. The 
The same reducing sleeves accommodate direct collets, either MT3 with a range from 2 to 20 mm or MT4 ranging from 19 mm to 24 mm. Direct collets can be advantageous if clearance in Z is an issue. Size matters, gain 3 inches, well, centimeters. Let me finish with the Wohlhaupter UPA5 facing in boring head. Originally it came with a long MT5 with a tang and I modified it to fit my machine. Just like the tool holders, the head is removed from the spindle by means of a withdrawal nut. That's it for today. I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching.